This advice that Rasulullah Sallallahu gave was وَصَلُّوا بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّاسُ فِيهَمْ This advice had a very profound, deeper meaning, which was that perfect the art of self-discipline. Waking up in the middle of the night when you don't want to wake up, especially in UK how cold it is and the heaters don't work. It's, it's really interesting that, you know, I, I was like, I was struggling to get up for Fajr today. I was like, do I need to come out of the blanket today? It's so cold. But subhanAllah, if we get that self-discipline, discipline, discipline. that was the hikmah behind it. Now I'm going to leave you with some tips of what you can do that can help you. Firstly, do not eat food after Isha. After Isha. I mean, that would like nullify all dinners that we have. We can't have food after an Isha. Maghrib time is the time when Rasulullah would eat. Obviously, we live in, an, in, a, in a country where time fluctuates and stuff like that. He's a rough around 5 to 6. 5 to 6 p.m., 6, 7. 7 is okay. But subhanAllah, you know, I get invitations to come to dinner like at 11.30 or 11 on the tour. And I say no to them and they get really upset. Because I know that if I eat food at 10.30, 11, the whole night my body is going to be busy digesting that food and not resting. resting, resting. And in the morning I'm going to be so lethargic that I will probably miss my Fajr or not wake up or won't hear their alarm. So food has a direct link, direct link, direct link. with waking up for Fajr. for Fajr. Another thing which is a lost Sunnah, which is sleeping right after the Hur or before the Hur. So 15-20 minutes, even if you're in the car, leave your car parked and just close your eyes. Just close your eyes. Just close your eyes. The Hadith mentions that Sahabas used to, it's, a, it's not Hadith of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it's from the Sahaba, they mention that we used to use Qaylula, which was a sleep. We used to use it so that we can rectify and you know have this power so we can get up into Hajjud at night. Scientifically what happens is when you do this, you kind of you know break the pattern of your brain. So your brain gets a chance to rest, to rest, to rest. for 15-20 minutes. They even call it REM. Rapid eye move, movement. If you look up in Google REM, you'll find a whole research on it. REM. Bottom line, we need to sleep in Zohar if you want to get wake up for Fajr. Or even Salatul Fajr. And then inshallah we can talk about Tahajjud also. And lastly, staying away from unnecessary sins. Sin. Sin. There are so many sins you and I do that we really don't need to do. And we've got into the habit of it. Such as we saw something about another brother, quickly take our WhatsApp. You don't know what happened brother. And you send him that text. That's riba. That's riba. That's riba. It's riba, but it's so easy to do it now. To do it now. Twitter hashtags, Facebooks. You put mentions. You have no idea the following person, you know, slipped from the masjid. Ha ha! It was a very nice moment. All of these things are riba. Are riba. And when I read my Facebook feed with what youth are writing, it's like 80% riba and nimima, which are not small sins. They are kabair. They are kabair. They are kabair.